Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and if you're like me and you like playing old computer games, then you've probably been keeping up with GOG.com quite a bit over the past few years. This site used to be called Good Old Games, and as that name kind of implies, they uh, really specialize in having uh, a large selection of older computer games. Now, they've, they've kind of opened up, as you can see, by Psychonauts and Torchlight, and they've started to add some new games as well, uh, or at least more recent games, but... They do still have a lot of old computer games, and it's just an excellent website. Now, as you probably have seen here uh, on their main page, they have finally released System Shock 2 for $9.99. This is a game that people have been asking for for a long time. It's considered one of the best computer games ever made. It's a, uh, a horror-slash-RPG game. Uh, everyone should definitely try it, especially hardcore PC gamers. Now... At the same time, if you're like me and you like to play games in order, uh, like in the order of a series, then obviously you'll want to wonder where System Shock 1 is and how you can get a hold of it and play it. Unfortunately, uh, System Shock 1 is not sold on goodoldgames.com, and to my knowledge, it's not sold on any digital retailer. It's not available in any store. So really the only way to even get a hold of a physical copy of the game is to... Uh, uh, get lucky and find one on eBay or buy it directly from someone on Amazon. Now there is a way that you can play the original System Shock without having to pay anything. This is where uh, Abandonia comes into play. Now Abandonia is a site that has a, a very large library of abandonware games and I'm gonna go to their FAQs here real quick and just explain what abandonware is. So as the Wikipedia states Abandonware is computer software that's no longer being sold or supported by its copyright holder. And as the guys at Aband uh, Abandonia go on to say, since the software is no longer sold or supported, uh, the copyright holders are not directly harmed in any way. And this is why sites like this are ignored by the law. So that's just a, uh, just a quick explanation of why this is even... Uh, potentially legal and I know that not everyone's going to agree with abandonware but I wanted to explain that just get that out of the way so I, I'll have this link in the video description for their uh, system shock page so go to this link click this red button here that says get it and that will allow, allow you to download all of the games files it should run about uh, 60 megabytes or so after you've downloaded that what you will need to do is visit this link in the video description and get yourself a copy of Defend Reloaded. Now I'm going to explain quickly what this is. Defend is a uh, DOS box front end. What that means is it's, a, gra it, it's a, a graphical interface that allows you to set up and run games through DOS box. Now DOS box is a, a DOS emulator. Uh, System Shock is a DOS game, so if you try to run it directly through Windows without using a, an emulator for, do, for DOS, you're going to run into a whole bunch of problems. So just go to this web page, click this link right here, Defend Reloaded Setup, uh, and after you've downloaded that, run the setup, install it, and you should be good to go. Now, there's going to be a third file in the video description. You definitely should grab this one. It's XCD Shock. It's a zip file, and uh, or a zip folder, I should say. This folder contains three files, and these make up a fan mod called XCD Shock that gives the uh, original System Shock higher resolution. Uh, it allows you to look around using the mouse. That way, it's nowhere near as clunky as if you were to try and use the original control scheme. And it also allows you to even remap your uh, keys. So if you want to completely con uh, configure the way the keys are, uh, if you don't like the way they're already set up, then you can do that and just mess around with it and customize it. So download that folder as well. And by this point, you should have installed Defend Reloaded. Uh, you should have downloaded and uh, unzipped the original System Shock files. And you should have downloaded and unzipped the XCD Shock fan mod that I told you about just a second ago. So once you have all three of these ready to go, go ahead and launch Defend Reloaded. Now when this pops up, it might uh, look a little intimidating, but this is a very easy program to use. 
and uh, you're going to see that right here. So before you start getting into setting up System Shock through Defend, go ahead and open up your System Shock folder with all of the game's files. Go into it, and once you reach this uh, S Shock directory with all of the files, open your XCD Shock folder and just put all three of the XCD Shock files in here with the rest of the game's files. That's all you have to do for that step. That way the mod is in place and ready to go. Next, in Defend, go up here to this green button that says Add. Click it. And you can go through this step, uh, you can uh, this process in many ways, but this is the way that I like. Uh, go to Add from Template. Choose Complex DOS Games with 3D Graphics. And once this uh, profile editor pops up, type System Shock for the profile name. Under Program File, click this little folder icon and navigate to your System Shock Files directory. This is where you drag the uh, three files to just a second ago. And double click xcdshock.exe. That way you pointed it to your executable for the game. And there's just one other step you should take to get it to run the way that it uh, should or to run the best. Click CPU right here and instead of having CPU cycle set to a particular value just click max. That way it runs at the max amount of cycles possible. So now that you've done that click OK and your system shock profile is ready to go. So all you have to do now uh, with this profile in place is each time you launch Defend uh, just click it here, then right click it and click run program. You can also just double click it or you can just click it and press enter, just any of those ways. Once you do that, it will launch System Shock and you can pretty much just enjoy the, enjoy the game from there. Now if you ever want to go back and edit some of those options, like for the CPU or anything like that, you can right click the profile and click edit. You can go in and you can change whether or not it starts in full screen mode, you can change the uh, DOS box. Uh, resolutions, the renderer that's used, video card that's being emulated, all that stuff. And you can you can set up uh, how much memory is used, change the CPU settings, all that. But uh, the settings that I showed you earlier should suffice for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some gameplay footage from this uh, modified version of System Shock with Mouse Look. And uh, I hope that these steps help get you started with the original System Shock and that you enjoy it and uh, prepare yourself to play System Shock 2.